My name is Masih Ali Nejad. I'm an Iranian journalist, a campaigner, and an author, and a troublemaker as well for the government of Iran. <laughs> it's not easy to be a woman in Iran. If you dance, you're a criminal. If you sing solo, you're a criminal. If you don't cover yourself, you won't be allowed to go to school. And you won't be allowed even to get a job. In 2014, there were 3.6 million women were warned or sent to the court or got arrested just because of not wearing appropriate hijab. Men eventually attacked the protesters, several of the women who stood there. So I'm a campaigner for freedom of choice. And I strongly believe if you have the control of your body, your head, then you have the control of what's going on inside your head. One day I just published a picture of myself running in a beautiful street with this caption. Anytime when I run in a free country and I feel the wind in my hair, it just reminds me of the time when my hair was like a hostage in the hands of Iranian government. And I receive a lot of comments from Iranian women. When I talk about compulsory job, a seven-year-old girl can understand me. Seventy-year-old mother, ninety-year-old grandmother can understand me as well. I was bombarded by videos, photos from women inside Iran. That is, you know, the way my Stealthy Freedom campaign was born. But after three years, this online movement became something offline. I invited women to come to the street with a white symbol and identify each other. If they want to be free, talk about it in public. Right now, women are walking unveiled in public. They're practicing their civil disobedience, and they don't care how they're going to be labeled. I always tell people, when I wrote reading Lolita in Tehran, I didn't mean to just talk about Iranian women being victims. Just as important was the way they resisted. What Masih did was sort of following what the Iranian women have been doing for 40 years. People were saying that, shh, this is not the right time to talk about women's rights. We were suffering from sanction. Shh, this is not the right time. Because of poverty, we've been told, shh, this is not the right time. But right now, these are the women of Iran saying that any time that you feel you want to talk about your body and your personal freedom, it's a good time. Don't care about other people who want to keep you silent. Right now, we are making history.